Most parents have no intention of harming their children, but abuse is characterized by the impact on the kid, not by the motivation of the parents. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll discover American Idol's Ciesha Mercado loses custody of newborn baby months after son is taken away. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop right on into the video. Child abuse is both prevalent and alarming. However, the occurrence of parents and other caregivers knowingly, even purposefully, harming the same children they are supposed to be nurturing is a tragic aspect of human civilization that cuts across all demographics. American Idol alum Shesha Mercado has had another baby taken from her. Mercado, 34, posted an hour-long Instagram video of sheriff's deputies ordering her to hand over her newborn daughter on the side of the road despite the fact that she was still breastfeeding her infant. She captioned the video August 11th, they took our baby again. Amenra, Mercado's firstborn child, was admitted to John Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida earlier this year, according to Mercado's social media posts. He was weeding from extended breastfeeding to eating more solids, so she took him in for extra fluids. However, she said armed officers forcefully removed me from my son in a march after she was accused of abuse and neglect in her words. The singer wrote on Instagram, they ripped me away from my proudest creation in life, pure joy, my sunshine. According to Randy Warren, a public information officer for the Manatee County Sheriff's Office, the Manatee County Sheriff's Office concluded an investigation in March after receiving information through an abuse hotline about a child at John Hopkins All Children Hospital who was suffering from severe malnutrition slash failure to thrive. According to Warren, a judge ordered a menra to be protected and treated. The parents refused to cooperate, the officer stated, adding that the matter was taken over by Safe Children's Coalition, which made the decision to house Mercado's second child. According to Warren, a family court judge ordered authorities to pick up the family's newborn daughter, which occurred on Wednesday, August 18th. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office refuses to provide any additional information. Her young daughter was removed during a surprise welfare check, according to NBC News. How could you guys do this? Do you not feel anything? She asked officers in her video this week, per NBC. My baby is days old, and you're taking my baby away from me. You're taking my baby away from me. You have no heart. This is so wrong. According to Warren, E! News has contacted the Department of Children and Families, which is the keeper of records. After accusing authorities of racial prejudice in her GoFundMe page, which has gathered more than $250,000 to bring Raw home, Mercado has received an outpouring of sympathy. She said that she and her partner, Tyrone, who she describes as an education and childcare worker who works in the foster system, need help raising awareness about legal kidnapping of black babies through CPS. Authorities accused Mercado of denying a B12 shot that was a matter of life and death for Raw, according to Mercado's fundraising. That, according to Mercado, is an absolute lie because they never refused the shot and he was never on the verge of death. Tyrone also stated in an Instagram video that they have been cooperating and that he told officials to call his attorney during a recent checkup. We understand that from the outside looking in, the division's actions appear uncaring, but let me assure you that we have the best interest of children and families in mind at all time, said Captain Dennis E. Romano Jr., the commander of the Child Protection Investigation Division at the Manatee County Sheriff's Office, in a statement to E! News. He said his department follows numerous laws to ensure we do not lose focus when dealing with vulnerable families, adding, The last thing anyone in this business wants to do is shelter children from their parents, but sometimes it is the only direction we are forced to take. According to Romano, when the need arises to shelter children, the families are given guidance on how to reconcile with their children. Mercado has been struggling for months to be reunited with Amenra describing him on her GoFundMe page as a captivating spirit, a magnificent light with eyes dazzling as the sun. He brightens up any room with his vibrant smile, she said. He is 18 months old and absolutely loves being in nature. His mommy reading to him, playing his djembe drums, and listening to his favorite album on the record player, Bob Marley. In 2008, Mercado finished second runner-up on American Idol, 
behind David Archuleta and David Cook. According to IBDB, she has also been on Broadway in the Book of Mormon. What do you think of the issue? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.